Red Dead Redemption 2 is Rockstar's newest installment. I, who am I kidding? Who doesn't know what this game is by now? Let's make some bloody money. After the release of this incredible game, it's safe to say that there are a lot of things on people's minds of things they want to do, but a lot of these can actually include money. Because, you know, you need money to do pretty much anything. To buy guns, to buy better horses, to customise pretty much everything throughout the game, and there are many ways of doing it. But at the start of the game, it's pretty hard to get a lot of money quickly without doing all the missions. But what if you want to get a lot of money extremely fast? What would you say if I told you there's a way to get $1,500 within minutes in this game, if you just know where to go? Well, this video is showing you an easter egg on how you can do just that. Now, the first place you need to go is a place called Window Rock. It is north of Valentine, and it has a massive rock formation. It's pretty hard to miss once you're there. It might take a few minutes to get there, depending on where you are on the map, but from Valentine, I would say it's a two to three minute ride at most. But once you're there, you'll see a big rock archway. Now, be careful getting up these rocks. It can be a bit slippery. You don't want to fall off the rocks, as many people have done many, many times. But nevertheless, you'll find a nice rock arch formation and go inside. And what you will see are some paintings, what look to be some cavemen art in these rocks. Now, of course, you do what any normal guy would do. You go up to them and you inspect them. And of course, Arthur Morgan will jot it down in his journal and you can have a nice little thing there that will tell you basically what's going on in this area. And it gives you a bit of a clue on where you've got to go next because what you can see here are figures. Now, these figures will become completely explained in a little. Next, you have to move on to a different location. This is a cave location, and here you will find the main part of this puzzle. But where is the cave located? Now, it is near a cross section by the railway and near a place called Donna Falls. Now, if you do put that cross section or where I'm putting you on the map here, make sure you put that on your map, but if you set a waypoint there, it will tell you to go a very long way down the path, because of course, that's what the waypoint system does. But a quick way of doing it is when you're at Window Rock, if you just head slightly north, you'll hit a train track and follow the train track sort of north east woods and if you just go that way you, you'll you'll get there at some point once you cross a bridge called back a bridge you will then make it to this area now this area has a little bit of a walk up a small path and once you make it up there you're gonna have to dismount your horse because it's too treacherous for poor pebbles at the moment dismounting go up a little pathway and you'll find a tiny little cave very shaped similarly to some sort of interesting object but once you go inside you will find a statue formation. Now this statue formation might seem a bit weird to start with, but this is going to be very important and this is how you get your money. You have to enter the cave and this is a puzzle. Now I will leave a little diagram below and I will sort of screenshot it there, the way that you have to actually enter this puzzle because there's buttons on these statues, but you can't just press the buttons in any order. You've got to leave some of the statues alone and you've got to press some of them in a certain order in order to unlock the gold in the middle. As you can see on screen, you have the first one, which is pretty much directly in front of now, you. Now, if you move clockwise around the statues, you miss the next one out, and you go and click the second one. Then you miss the next one out, you go and click that third one, and then the fourth one right next to it. And that should unlock the center. If you look around at the sort of mini statue in the middle, you'll see it reveals three gold bars. Yes, a whole three gold bars. Now, of course, you might expect this can be sold for a lot of money. Taking these gold bars to any of the fence places. Now, these fences are sort of dealers that will be able to deal more, you know, illegalish items. You're able to get some interesting stuff. You're able to get like lock breakers as well. So you can outlaw and rob stagecoaches and things like that. But this is sort of a not quite a black dealership, but it's a similar sort of thing. You go to these fences and you'll be able to sell. Now, there's one at Emerald Ranch. There's also one that I go to, which is in Rhodes. If you go there, you can go on the train and you can get there pretty easily. You go up to the guy and you sell the gold bars. They'll sell for $500 each. So in total, getting $1,500 instantly from doing this very quick little puzzle. Now, I'm hoping to do a lot more Easter eggs and a lot more things in Red Dead Redemption. Make sure you leave your comments down below on any tutorials and stuff you'd like to know or just more Easter eggs and I'll make sure to get on there. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more of this stuff if you haven't already. And until then, I'll see you in the next one.